Um, so we just finished up solving equations. We're looking at something now, and I'm sure you guys have heard of it, um, which is, uh, these are called inequalities. So instead of an equal sign, you see something that looks like this and something that looks like this. Those are called inequalities. Okay. Um, so you should have seen these in the past. There's four different types. You can have a less than, a greater than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. Um, so you should have seen these, I want to say, fifth grade maybe. Uh, so there's these four different types. So we've got less than and greater than. This Whatever side is the... Um, Point right here, that's the small side. It's kind of like the alligator mouth. That's how most people have learned it. Um, so the alligator mouth opens toward whatever is bigger. Okay, so for example, if you had a six and an eight, uh, this eight is obviously bigger. So the alligator mouth would open um, toward the eight. So the alligator mouth opens toward whatever side is bigger. Um, so on your papers, you've got a couple um, at the top that I'm actually going to do with you as examples. We're going to look at the second one to begin with. Um, so looking at number two, we've got 21 is less than, so this side is smaller, 21 is less than 3 plus 9x. Okay, uh, you solve these very, very similar to how you solve an equation. Pretty much all the steps are the same. Um, except for there's one catch, and we won't even see that until the second example. So I'm going to go through this the same way. Um, so again, instead of an equal sign, I've got this less than symbol. I'm still going to put a line. I'm still going to split it, but this time instead of an equal sign, I've got this less than. We can treat it the same way, though. Okay, so I'm going to draw my line. I need to get this x by itself. So I'm going to move the 3 over. We should be good at solving basic equations now. It's a positive 3, so to move it over here... I've got to subtract it. This should be review. 3 minus 3 is going to cancel. 21 minus 3 is 18. On this side, I've got 9x left, and I'll bring down my less than symbol. Okay, um, so again, I need my, my x by itself. The 9 and the x are being multiplied. Okay, they're being multiplied, so you guys should know. In order to uh, break those up, in order to move the 9 over, we've got to do the opposite of multiplication, which is to divide each side. My 9s will cancel. Leaves me with x. Um, 18 divided by 9 is 2. Okay, And I'll bring down my symbol. So what this means is that 2 is less than, so 2 is smaller than x, or x is greater than or x is bigger than 2. So notice you can flip this around. Most of you like the x on the left side, and that's great. Um, so as long as the, the alligator mouth opens toward the x, then it means the same thing. So you can have 2 is less than x, or you can have x is greater than or bigger than 2. It doesn't matter. They mean the same thing. So now that we've got our answer, we need to actually put it on a number line. Okay, so I solve this the same way I solve an equation. Uh, but now we're going to add a new component. We're going to put this on a number line. Okay, so I've got 2 here. So what I need to do is put a circle at 2. Notice I did not fill that circle in. Okay, so I've got my circle at 2. X is bigger. Either way you write it, X is still bigger. Our bigger numbers are towards the right. Okay, so everything bigger than 2 is okay. So I'm going to shade in and put an arrow facing toward everything is bigger than 2. Okay, so I just solved it like an equation. I know my x is bigger than 2, so I've got my circle at 2, and it's going towards the bigger side, which is toward the right. Okay, um, so now we're going to look at the first example that you guys have. Negative uh, 5x plus 2 is less than or equal to 17. Okay. Um, again, I'll split it at my sign, right? I have an inequality sign this time. I'm going to treat it like my equal sign. Okay, so I'll split it there so I've got my two sides. 
Again, solving for x, we need to start with our regular number. We need to move that 2 over. It's being added. So I will subtract it. Plus 2 minus 2 cancels over here. I'm left with negative 5x. I'm just going to bring that down. You guys should know this, okay? 17 minus 2 is 15. And I will bring that down. Okay, bring down my less than or equal to sign. Okay, um, the negative 5 and the x are being multiplied. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 5 so that my negative 5s will cancel. I'll have my x, 15 divided by negative 5. We've got a positive divided by a negative. That will give me a negative 3. Okay, um, and this is, this is where the catch comes in. So on your papers, make sure that you make a note of this. Um, right here, we divided by a negative number. Okay, so you can see right here, we divided by a negative 5. We divided by a negative number. Every time you multiply or divide by a negative, you have to flip the symbol around, okay? So instead of the alligator mouth opening this way toward the negative three, like the original symbol, because I divided by a negative, I have to flip it around. So now it's gonna open toward my X. Okay, so make sure that you make a note. So if you multiply or divide by a negative flip the inequality. That's the only catch between these and a regular equation, okay? So if you have an inequality symbol, make sure that you're being careful because if you multiply or you divide by a negative number, you've got to flip the inequality around. If you multiply or divide by a positive number, on this side, we divided by a positive 9. We didn't flip our symbol around, okay? It stayed the same. On this side, because we divided by a negative 5, the direction that my inequality was pointing or opening, it flipped around. So if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip the inequality. Okay, so now we've got x is greater than or x is bigger than negative 3. Now I need to take this, I need to get it on my number line, okay? So I know I'm looking at negative 3. Okay, so I've got my circle at negative 3. If you have an or equal to, this little um, line underneath the symbol, notice over here we didn't have it, but now we do. This means that you've got to shade it in, okay? So I'm going to shade that in. It can be or equal to, so I've got to shade in that negative 3. So if you don't have a bar underneath it, it's an open circle. If you do have a bar underneath it, it is a closed circle. Okay, so we've got two things happening here. We divided by our negative, so we flipped our symbol. And now we have an or equal to, so I've got to shade in my negative 3. So looking up here, I've got my negative 3 taken care of. I know x, the alligator mouth, opens toward the x. That means that x is bigger, okay? The bigger numbers are to the right, okay? Bigger numbers are over here. So I'm going to color red and draw my arrow pointing toward the bigger side. Had I had um, this symbol the other direction, so if I had had x is smaller than negative 3, then my arrow would have pointed to the left, okay? So if, you, if your x is bigger, you're going to go to the right. Um, if your x is smaller, you're going to go to the left, just like on the number line. Numbers get bigger going to the right, numbers get smaller going to the left. Okay, so a couple things that we need to um, remember just to recap really quick. First, you solve these like a regular equation, but if you multiply or divide by a negative, you have to flip the inequality. Okay, so we've got an example of that. Second thing, if you don't have an or equal to, your circle is open. If you do have an or equal to, so the little bar, 
you have to color it in. Okay, so there's only two differences here between um, regular equations, and that's just flipping your sign and then the number line.